Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in. Uh, this is going to be for Taurus for the second half of your October from the uh, 16th to 31st. We are going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the second half of your month. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice. What else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Uh, this reading could be about anything. So we're just going to see what the cards have to say. You could apply this to any of your placements, okay? So uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notif notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? So Taurus, tell me about Taurus here. Over energies for Taurus, what is surrounding Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? What can Taurus expect for the um, second half of their October from the 16th to the 31st for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus here? Tell me about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. Wow. Ten of Cups. The Devil. Capricorn energy. Seven of Cups. You know, what I'm getting here is that there is a situation where you're dealing perhaps with a relationship, with a family, with a friend group. You're starting to realize what you're dealing with. This is all an illusion. Yeah. Like whatever you're going through, perhaps you're in a toxic relationship. And maybe the person you were dealing with was controlling the narrative, controlling you. And now you're realizing that this was all an illusion. Page of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Death. Scorpio energy. Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be dealing with any of those energy, Taurus. You might have those energies in your chart. Could be dealing with another Taurus. But whoever this is, I feel like this person made a lot of false promises. They promised you these certain things, and I feel like they went, brought, went back on their promises. Whatever situation that you're going through, this situation has ended. You started to see the illusions here. You started to see the kookiness, and I feel like you, this, this ended because of that. Could have been dealing with someone here that was really immature, okay? Uh, but toxic at the same time. Uh, this could be an indication that this person has never really dealt with their childhood issues. And I also feel like this person has a drug problem too, okay? Uh, I don't know, I feel like this person smokes a lot of weed like they did when they were young. Uh, maybe this person likes to do, you know, those recreational drugs, you know, like, I mean, what are they? Uh, you know, ecstasy and, you know, the candy stuff. I don't know. Um, the ketamine. Yeah. So uh, tell me about the Ten of Cups. I feel like this person was never really present. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Devil and the Four of Swords. So what happened was that I feel like this is you, Taurus. You turned your back on this individual. Okay, You're, so the back, the back of this queen is turned away from this page or these pages. I feel like these two pages is the same person. Okay, Seven of Cups, we have the High Priestess, the uh, Page of Pentacles, and Temperance. What's happening here is that you're completely, completely ignoring this person. You're finding your peace. You're finding your balance in this situation. You're realizing that sometimes it's best to remain silent and not to say anything at all. 
you know so there's an energy of wising up here there's an energy of also healing there's also an energy of speaking to someone regarding this okay perhaps you are speaking to a therapist or a spiritual advisor or a life coach but I feel like since you dropped this person or since you ended things with this person, you, you probably felt more confident than you ever did before. Taurus energy here with the Hierophant. So, you know, I, I feel like you're coming out of the situation with a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom here, okay? Um, outcome and advice here for uh, Taurus regarding their situations. What else does Taurus need to know? What else does Taurus need to know and look out for for October, for the second half of their October from the 16th? to the 31st for Taurus. We have Justice in the uh, Hermit. Libra energy, Virgo energy here with that Hermit. Six of Swords and the Two of Swords. You know, I feel like there is a bit of confusion here that you're trying to move on from. Yeah. Or that you know you're trying you're 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 taking those rose colored glasses and you're finally seeing things clearly. Your guides have has been knocking on your uh, 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 head trying to wake you up, and I feel like you're trying you're finally waking up. You know you're finally seeing the light. You're finally seeing the uh, truth here. You know I feel like right now you're definitely doing some healing work and s some soul searching here. Uh, we have the Emperor here and the King of Swords. Okay. So Aries energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with the King of Swords here. This is interesting. I, I feel like you might be cutting out like a toxic situation with a family member too. And, and, and with a, a lover here. Yeah, I feel like you could be cutting out like a brother or something like that or a sister or a mother or a father, maybe even grandparents. Justice. Ten of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Star. It seems like you might have soul contracts with these in individuals, and I feel like you're trying to break those soul contracts, okay? So right now, I feel like you're getting a lot of support from the divine and the universe here. Yeah, because you're definitely doing healing work. You're definitely doing some soul searching here, all right? Six of Swords, Nine of Swords, Two of Swords, and Judgment. I feel like moving the moving on part, you might have be having a difficult time here, but I feel like you are definitely going through some sort of spiritual awakening because like I said, something is being revealed here and that you're seeing clearly, clearly now. You know, the, 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 the illusions that you are uh, dealing with here, it's sort of like you're realizing it. Judgment, Sagittarius energy. The uh, Emperor, Ace of Wands, King of Swords, and the Fool. There's a huge shift in, there's a huge shift or a huge change that's happening here because the dynamic in this family situation, in this family unit is completely dysfunctional here. And I just feel like you're pretty much leaving this behind and starting over on your own here. It just seems like you're leaving a ton of people behind, Taurus. Aries energy here with the uh, uh, fool. So Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated if it did. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys uh, in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.